Hi everyone! Thank you for joining me for the monthly card readings for each sign. If you enjoy these free readings, you can show your support by donating or purchasing some of my many wares. If you can't afford to purchase anything, you can still show your support by subscribing, thumbs up and sharing, or take a second to click on one of the ads. Thank you in advance for your continued support, and I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Now, on to the reading. Hi, everyone. Before we get to the monthly uh, December reading, I wanted to show you what this kind of looks like. These are the year-ahead readings that I'm going to be offering. I uh, did them last year. They're a big hit. This is going to be for the year 2016. It's a video reading, and this is going to be the layout. You'll, it goes by quarters. The first quarter is January, February, March. This is not necessarily January, February, March. It's just the first three months overview, then the next three month overview, the next three month overview, next three month overview, and then I'll pick one animal totem card for you. This reading is for the year of 2016, and as a video reading that's private, you'll be able to watch it over and over again. I did them last year, it was a big hit. Uh, and also with the holidays coming up, be sure to check out my Redbubble site for a lot of great gifts. Okay, on to the reading. Hi Scorpio. Thanks for joining me for the January 2016 Tarot Scope with uh, using Hanson Roberts deck and then I'll be using the Beast Mistress Animal Oracle cards which are my own creation and we'll pull you an animal totem afterwards. Okay, this is for Scorpio for January. Scorpio. Scorpio, January 2016. Scorpio, January 2016. What is going on for Scorpio? Oh, you guys got the church bells this time, if you can hear them. <laughs> Scorpio, January 2016. What is going on? Scorpio. Okay, here it is. Well, the wish card's in that first row, so that's always nice. So your wish is coming true. It does seem like, you know, getting uh, getting past something here, because these first couple cards are not so hot, honestly. You know, chariot in reverse is something you've been trying to get over, something you've been trying to get past. Does, there is some struggles around it or involved, you know, and um, it's it's. But this feels like this is waning. You know, this is passing. You know, it's going away. Some of you, there could have been some kind of car trouble too. That would be another thing here. Uh, you know, maybe you had some kind of car trouble, and now you're gonna get finally get your car figured out. But more often, this is kind of bigger things than just your car. You know, bigger things in life. But the wish card here is really good. I feel like I want to say it's called, you're going to get it all ironed out here. It's going to really be the ironed out. And um, wish card is a very positive card. It's over here too. There's There's been struggle. So there's been some struggle. But the wish card is right in there. So that's always a good thing. Things are getting more in balance for you. You know, your money's improving too. That's for sure. Because uh, with this card of temperance and the balance and everything. No rock. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come. Sorry. So this commotion next door. You come here. Good boy. Anyways, uh, with things coming in balance, there is uh, money coming. So when you find the balance, when the balance is there, then the money shows up big time. You know, Nine of Pentacles is one of the best money cards there is. And for any of you that are like self-employed or working on your own, this is a great great card you know it's like financial abundance um, not having to struggle so much the money's there and then you can turn your you have time for leisure and pleasure you know she's got nice clothes she gets her hair done you know she can time to play with the bird so it's she's not all about being constantly stressed out and working 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 she has she's enjoying the fruits of her labor very often this could be your own business though because the way she stands alone it's like she has her own place or her own estate or something like that. So she's on one uh, end of it and then this page, there's news coming of money. There definitely is news coming of money this month. During the time of Capricorn, now we have a Capricorn new moon 
on the 9th. And then we also, uh, the Cap Sun will be in Capricorn the entire month until the 20th. So this is like the, within the first 20 days probably, uh, possibly on or around the 9th. There could be some, inf you're going to hear something, some influx. Uh, notice how we have uh, the two pages, and all the young dudes carry the news, right? So um, it's Earth and Air. So we're going from January, we'll be in Capricorn, and then we move into Aquarius um, on the 20th. So the whole, I mean, it's almost like maybe the news comes in the first part of January, and then by the time we get past the 20th into Aquarius, like you're really there, you're really in it, right? It does seem to be, I'm going to say this person, you're never going to make friends with this person here, whoever this is. Shown as a female, and High Priestess is even a real strong female too, energy. I mean, but I always say that this could be man, woman, whoever. And really, this High Priestess in reverse, one of the meanings of that is um, the ruthless woman. There's something sneaky, underhanded about them. It's two-faced too. You know, they behave one way when you talk to them to your face, and then secretly be, they're doing stuff behind your back. It's that kind of energy. Ace of Cups is in reverse here, so it's like, you're just not going to... I feel like you've been trying to make friends with this person, or kind of make it work with this person on some level, and they're just not doing it. And Queen of Pentacles, so maybe an Earth sign person, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, also during the time of Capricorn, you know. Um, again, it could be. Uh, but Pentacles, too, are money people. So this could be a co-worker. This could be somebody that you've worked with in the past or up till now, and there just seems to be... It could also be, like, if it's a collaboration, that maybe you guys just aren't jiving. You're just not gelling, you know, because Ace of Cups is also, like, a creative thing. You know, maybe you're just not... If you're trying to do a, a collaborative project with somebody... Maybe you're just not vibing and it's just not happening, you know. Well, I think it's just you're not vibing and it's just not happening, <laughs> no matter what. But I, I feel like you're, you're kind of wanting to still kind of have hope. And I think that's part of what some of the struggle is about, too. So you might have to walk away from that. So if this is a job, you might have to walk away to get a new job. If this is a collaborative project, you might have to get another gig. Um, you know, if it's a, a friendship relationship... I'm not sure how that would tie in here, but there's there's definitely a money tie in. Maybe I mean maybe it's two separate things here. Uh, the hermit's here too, so it's kind of like um, they're saying maybe it's just wise to sort of back away. You know, maybe it's not wise to kind of uh, you know uh, be confrontational or try to struggle with them or try to you know they're not going to see your things your way. There's no sense in that. You know, so it's maybe just back off. Um, I hate to say it, but it's almost like it, it'll stick to you. I, I shouldn't say that because it's all a reflection of ourselves, but I'm getting that. Like this person is kind of, they're in reverse too. I feel like they're kind of a downer. I feel like they're kind of a naysayer, downer, you know, um, and they are just, um, whether they realize it or not, they're kind of in victim mode and they're kind of wanting negative attention all the time. And by you, uh, it's like you found some new avenue of enlightenment and or something you know you're 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 stepping into this new vibration and it's a vibration of prosperity too but there it this is more than just prosperity you know, this is really overall well-being feeling good and being un aligned with this you know the energy coming through the crown chakra and the angelic forces too so there's that element to it and the, and, and if you if you Put your energy towards this, and, and all the, this is what magnet. These are like magnets. This is what's going to stick to you. All this good news and this prosperity. If you align your energy with this, then this is you know downer energy. So that's why I feel like that because I really feel like this hermit is like stepping away from this. It's just like I just can't be around this anymore. You know, I think I've given it my best shot to try to give you a boost up or help you, but um, this is like this is a vacuum sucking and this is a magnet drawing upwards so there's like there's very two very different energies going on here and um you know uh you got to you got to align you're not going to convince this person you know, you're, you're just not 
And I also feel like with the High Priestess in reverse too, because that is a very spiritual card too. That's like being really in touch with your intuition, your feelings, your inner knowledge. And in reverse, it's like not being being detached from it. That's more what I get out of this more than... Um, for some of you, maybe there's some sneaky stuff going on. But more I get that this person's just not even... They aren't there. They just can't... They're not grasping it. They're, they're in the doldrums, you know. And this is this Queen of Pentacles, male, female, whoever. It might be somebody you work with, or there, there might be some financial ties. I'll tell you what, even if there's not financial ties, this person, I feel like they always have money problems. And that's a manifestation of their downer energy, kind of, I think, you know. So, it's just like, well, you know, look, you're, I feel like you're trying to tell them, look, I'm, I'm doing this new thing, and it's kind of working out for me, and maybe you should try it. Oh, no. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just the victim, you know. Like Eeyore <laughs> from Winnie the Pooh. How he, kind of like how he was. But anyways, be this magnet of this energy. Align with your stuff because I think a lot of good things are coming. It's like a magnet. It's like the minute this energy changes here, it's like these feel like magnets. I can even hear them going clink, 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 clink. You know, attaching all this good stuff attaching to you, you know. Because that's what these energy draws the... That's what, kind of how it is. It's sort of a... It's probably not actually, you know, magnetism, but there is this... It's a very similar... You know, this energy is like that. There's this attraction stuff, you know. And uh, there's two, two distinct things going on here. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle up for your animal. Tell them, don't forget to check out the end of the year thing. It's only available till the 31st of December if you're watching this before then. But uh, that other one is really cool. If you are getting to this point, you are aligning with some higher energies, and you do want to look at uh, something else besides everyday stuff, take a look at that um, Soul Journey video reading that I do with your chart. It's really deep. Um, it's not like, I don't think anybody else is doing anything quite like it, and it's really cool. I talk and I write on your chart, and I give you the drawing afterward. Uh, and it's good forever. It's not time, it doesn't run out. You know, it's always, it's it's relevant to your entire life. You can always come back to it. Okay, so what's going on for Scorpios for January with the animal? What is your animal totem? Dog. Okay. I'll put it up here in case I forget to edit in the picture later. So if you if I do, you can freeze frame it. I want you to look at it. I want you to see what you think, what pops at you. Let's read. Loyal companion, protector, ally. Immense capacity for unconditional love. Service to the pack, group incarnation. To have friends, you must be a friend. <laughs> it's kind of almost gone back what I was saying here about stepping away from this person who's a downer. <laughs> but I think this is saying this is what you, you are. This is, you're the dog. You've been this. You've been this loyal companion to this person. Um, you know, awakening to this immense capacity for unconditional love, too. That's getting in this vibe. I mean, maybe there'll be a time when you're strong enough to endure this energy without it, you getting knocked down off of off of your cloud, you know. Uh, and not in a bad way. Your cloud of your higher vibrations that you're walking, you're getting into here, right? But I don't, uh, it seems like in January you might not be, you might have to step away for a minute and really get yourself solidified in this new vibration. And then maybe you could offer some help and assist. I'm not saying to just ditch them and ignore them. Uh, because this is all talking about being a loyal friend and everything. But I really feel like you have been a loyal friend to this person. I think you've given above and beyond to this person, you know. And there comes a point, too, when it's just holding you back. You, know, you, can't, you can't make yourself small to fit into uh, somebody else's reality here, you know. Why, why should anybody hold themselves back in order to f be more fitting in with the crowd or something like that, you know. Well, something to think about. Hey, here's my book, Tale of the Modern World. You can check that out. My deck, it's all up in the upper corner info section. Uh, Scorpio, thank you all for liking, sharing, watching, everything. Oh, if you want to do the Facebook thing, there's a link below. It's uh, the Rock and Roll Prophetess Facebook page. I'll be posting everything if you want to um, follow when I post the readings. Or a better way is just to subscribe right down here in the bottom. There should be a, a subscribe button somewhere there. Uh, remember you are love and beauty incarnate. Have a great January and a great new year. Talk to you soon.